many English language learners have problems hearing and feeling the difference between L and R. Normally because those sounds don't exist as separate sounds in their language. For example, in Korean language, in the Japanese language. The L is a voiced sound. It sounds like U, as in love or people. Okay. And the R sound is also a voiced sound and sounds like R, as in ready or career. So when we make the L sound, our tongue comes forward and it touches a bit on the roof of our mouth or just behind our teeth, like lovely, lovely. When we say the R sound, the tongue is not touching anything. Ready ready, lovely, ready, okay? So watch how my mouth moves. You can then imitate that when you're practicing, okay? And be sure to practice in front of a mirror and see what your mouth is doing, okay? And of course, we always are going to exaggerate the sound and then your brain's gonna learn it more easily. So you have to be a little prepared for making some funny faces because when we exaggerate pronunciation, we look a little silly. Now I will enunciate and I will exaggerate and I'll probably gonna look funny, <laughs> okay? All right, here are some words that have the sound L in them. Love, life, pill, wheel, lovely, late, cuddle, help, people, feeling, lower, melon, blank. Delay, spell, waffle, violin, welt. All right, now you can refer back to this video and you can use it to help you when you're practicing on your own. So that is the L sound. All right, now let's look at R, all right? Red, rose, river, rate, cutter, ready, brother, career, fearing, rear, ultra, trunk, Sort, smart, rip, crash, cracker, brunch. So the tongue is not touching your teeth. It's not touching the top of your mouth. 